My name is Megan Lloyd. I was born and bred in Carmarthen in Wales and now I live in the Valleys, Trehavod, and I've been learning dance with Cone Ratner for many years. And my name's Samia and I live in Newport in Wales and I've been learning dance from Kieran now also for about eight years now. So tell us about Kieran's school. Uh, she started dance classes in Ruby Corn Dance Centre, which is a community dance centre, and popularity of the class and people wanting to do more and more. She started some Saturday schools and also in the Samaj in the Temple in Cardiff. And so now we have classes on Saturdays, Wednesdays, Tuesdays, and even a Monday evening, and also in different parts of Wales as well. We do Swansea, Carmarthen, and also the Bristol classes. And you teach for her? I do. I teach the smaller people. You teach quite a lot. I teach on the Saturdays and uh, help out on the Tuesdays, and I do the Carmarthen class. And you? Um, I don't teach a lot, but I've also helped out on Saturdays um, with the younger children, mainly with theory and music as well, um, which they learn for their exams, so that's been a really good experience. So are you a musician as well? Um, well, we learn, we learn the songs to go with the dances, so we have to help with teaching that. So you learn the songs as well? Yeah, we have, to, we have to learn the rhythms to go with the music. I'm not so good with the singing, I must admit. But, <laughs> <laughs> but we all give it a good go. <laughs> and we've got a lovely music teacher as well who comes to the company and helps. Okay. Mm. So who's going to tell us about the Arangetum experience first? <laughs> well, I did it my Arangetum last year in September. And I did it with my sister because we've always been around the same level in dance. So did that together and that was really interesting because mostly our engagements are solo performances but because we did it together we did nearly all of our pieces together except um, one of them we did individual pieces and um, we could also do mirror images and things so we could do a lot more with the dances which was really nice. And where did you do it? Well we did it in Newport in the Riverfront Theatre which is a really nice place. Um, and yeah. how did you prepare for it? We prepared, well, we started learning the pieces around a year in advance and we'd learn bits of pieces over the year. And then for about two months before, um, we had daily practice where we'd rehearse almost all day, every day, um, to improve our technique and, um, yeah, basically to improve to um, stage level so we can dance. And how long did you work with the live musicians? We worked with them for about a week and... Um, so practicing everything and making sure everything was completely right for it. So that was good. And what about you, Megan? Well, I did my own get from a long time ago, back in 1994. <laughs> and I was one of Kiran's first students to do an Aaron Getram. She just completed hers, but she was sort of quite late on in doing hers. So it's quite difficult when you're over here to arrange the time to get musicians who are able to come. So she said to me after she'd done her, she said, oh, would you like to do one? And I was like, not really understanding what on earth it was all about. And I said, oh, yes, why not? Thinking, oh, it'll never happen. I just learned the dances. That'll be good. That'd be nice. And then all of a sudden she said, I've got musicians coming. I'm like, oh, does that mean I'm actually going to do it? Oh, no. <laughs> and for me, uh, the, the girls now, I'm sort of envious of them because when you've done a Shepton before, you tried yeah. out the dances before because of the exam system helping out with that as well. They had done dances out of the, the Margam, out of the range of dances that you perform for an Angetrim. Whereas for me, that was my first time of doing any of those dances. First time for a Ladi Boot, first time for Shepton, first time for Random, first time for presenting, first time for learning, first time for knowing what the heck it was from beginning to end. <laughs> so it was all a bit of a oh, panic. And uh, But when the musicians came, uh, we learnt with um, uh, Sridhar and Ma Master G, and his son played at your Aaron Getcher, and his yes. Madungan player, his son was a Madungan player, and I had uh, Sridhar and Master G as the singer. And he was just so nice and encouraged because I was thinking, oh no, he'll come and he'll think I'm so bad and he won't want to do it for me. And he was just very kind and encouraging and helpful. So it was, it was a nice experience. Yeah. And you were the compere for... Yes, yes. yeah. yeah. It, it, it's, it's nice for me to be the compare because you know, I can be involved in it. And also, because I know the dances and what the girls are doing, mm -hmm. I can describe it to the audience in a way where when they watch, they get more out of it, they'll yeah. enjoy more. So, And people always really enjoy the Iron Gentrums and they're impressed with what the girls are able to do. So. <laughs> <laughs> and where did you have your Iron I had mine in Cardiff, in Chapter Arts Centre. Are there other um, 
Welsh dancers doing the Indian dance? We've got some people in the class. I've got a little girl, Maisie, who lives up in Pontypridd. We've got some adults who, you know, are indigenous to Wales, shall we say, who come to the class. And, uh, you know, over the years, people, people's interests, they'll come to the class for a while, um, you know, interests mm -hmm. change or they, they move away. But, yeah, we have, we have Welsh people dancing. And, of course, a lot of our girls are born and bred in Wales now. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all Welsh. <laughs> so how was the experience, the irrigation? Um, it was a really rewarding experience altogether because it takes a lot of work and effort to go in through it to it, like your whole summer holidays, you're rehearsing for it, so it's a lot of determination and motivation towards it. But afterwards, when you hear all the feedback, it's really good, and it's a really rewarding experience altogether. What's really, it like really working with your sister? Um, that was really enjoyable, <laughs> and it's good because you can encourage each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's nice because yeah. sometimes you're feeling, oh no, it's, it's getting too much, or it's getting really hard, but then you just encourage each other, so I suppose it's nicer working together than being on your own, I suppose. It's a different mm. experience. So how did you costume yourselves? I think you had the mirror um, images and all that. Um, most of our costumes were um, like, yeah, basically mirrors of each other. So I suppose I had orange and purple, and she had purple and orange as the main colour. So that was really nice. Um, apart from our individual ones, where we just went all out and picked what we the colours we really like. But um, it was nice that way. Did you have them made? Yeah, we had to have them made in India. Um, yeah, Raj Gopal, isn't it? Yes. He's a tailor in Chennai. Mm -hmm. And we've used him and he's, he's very good. He it's makes really it fit perfectly. Yes. So. And your costumes are made by him yes, too? Yes, my costumes are made by him. I, the year before I did my Angekram, I was lucky enough to have an opportunity to go to India. It was on a kind of course for people from all over the world. So they were, it wasn't just full of Indian dancers. But I went there because I wanted to go and... I'd never visited India, so I wanted to see India. And one of the nice things was that I visited uh, Chidambaram Temple, where Lord Shiva was supposed to have come down and performed. And I was doing a dance in my Arangetram then about Lord Shiva dancing in Chidambaram. So, like, when I was starting, I was like, oh, I've been there, I've been there, oh my goodness, you know, oh! <laughs> so it made it more sort of meaningful then, because I'd seen the place where Shiva danced, and then I was learning about this dance about him performing there. And so it sort of brought it all together in my mind for me. And why were you drawn to Indian dance? That's a question a lot of people ask me, and the answer is curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was in art college in Cardiff, and a couple of friends from art college, we thought, oh, well, let's do some dance classes. And a friend gave us a brochure of this community dance place that would take you at any age. Because quite often, dance schools only take children, little ones. So we thought, oh, we'll all go along, and one person liked the tap class, one person wanted to do the yoga, and I thought, oh, what's this Bharatanatyam? I know they do something with their hands. I'll, you know, I'll go along and see. And that's how it started, just out of, I'll go along and see. <laughs> and you, why were you drawn to Indian dance? Um, I think when I was young, my mother really enjoys Indian dance. and She's not a dancer herself, but she's enjoyed watching it and things, so she thought um, I should put my children for that. And so after we started, we really enjoyed it. And I think Kiranati is really encouraging and she moves you up quite fast, which is um, really good. Yeah, she and sees your potential, doesn't yeah, she? Yeah, she does. Yeah. And she moves you at like, the pace that she feels you should be going at rather than everyone um, staying at the same pace. And that was good. So we moved up and just really enjoy doing it. Yeah. So are you going to continue dancing? Yes, I think so. Um, I'm going to university next year, but I think I'll continue dancing there as well. And what about you, Megan? It's a, a profession, isn't it? Oh, well, yeah, I keep on going. <laughs> so long as I can move, I'll keep on going. <laughs> but all that teaching as well. Yes, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, I'm sort of like it, taking care of the little ones when they first come in. So we, look, we do a prelim class and there's a, a primary exam now as well to cater for that. It's just to get them involved when they're younger and to keep them going so that they can... Like you. <laughs> you know, and carry on and enjoy and get the most out of dance that they can. So could you tell us, could you tell us about the content of your Arangetra? Um, well, for every Arangetra you follow a mark, and so like a path, and um, it has set pieces that you do. Like, for example, I did a push Panjali and an Alarapu, and then the Shabdam comes into the expressional pieces. Um, but instead of a Varanam, because there were two of us, we did an Avarasas, which is like... Um, it shows nine expressions and different stories for that, so we could depict them together 
um, playing different characters, so that was really interesting. And then in the second half we did all the expressional pieces, pieces and ended with the Pilana, which is um, the usual finale item. You? I followed the Margam again and uh, I did a Varnam because I was by myself. So, and one of the things was I had a Badam that I was learning. And uh, Master G, he'd be singing it in our practice and I'd be trying to do it. It was about um, Parvati coming, uh, Amma, where is she? Looking for her. And he'd get quite emotional. I didn't realise he was getting an emotional, man. And he'd try to go, and then he'd walk out, I think, oh, God, I'm doing this so bad. <laughs> he's, he's walking out. <laughs> but he was, it was making him feel emotional. So he'd leave for a while, have a little breather and come back in because he, he was over here and he was away from family and things. So it's making him feel emotional. And then one of the things I was worried about, my aunt Getchum, I don't know if you were as well, I was worried that I wouldn't enjoy it, all that effort, and you wouldn't enjoy it. You'd have yeah. a horrible time. <laughs> you know, I was really worried about that. And so I was like, I really want to enjoy it. Sorry. I enjoyed it, and it's like I did my sh I did my um, uh, jatiswaram, which had been quite tricky for me to get. I thought, oh, phew, jatiswaram's over. I like doing shabdam, love shabdam, so I thought, oh, shabdam, maybe. And I was the only one behind stage, so there's nobody there helping me get changed. And so in my mind, I thought, right, varnam, that's the next tricky one to remember. So I started to get changed for varnam. So, and then I heard the music for jatiswaram, I was like, ah, quick! <laughs> so I ran out of panic from my jatiswaram. Then I did my varnam, and I was like, oh, that's okay. And then when this badam came up, the one which was uh, Ingira Giral Amma, um, me and Kieran had sort of said, oh, it would be so sad if at the end I didn't show in my face that I could see her, that she'd appeared, like Mother has appeared. And, and Master G was saying, no, no, you can't, no, that's not the way it should be. She doesn't appear, that's the whole essence of the piece. But me and Kieran were thinking, oh, you know, maybe I can show it a little bit in my face at the end that I can see her. But when it came to it, I was like really, really kind of, the piece of music had got me and I could not show in my face that I'd seen it. I was like really sad and crying. I went off stage and I was like, <laughs> and the tears were coming out. And I was like, oh no, my makeup. And I'm trying to shove a tissue in the corner of my eye to stop it from <laughs> dropping everything. And then it was like Delana music comes. You're like, oh, Delana, got to get on for that. And there's tears coming down. <laughs> but in a way, that's very, very good because it meant I felt what I was supposed to feel and hopefully then the audience had the rasa, the feeling as well. But they felt that and it went on for Delano and be all happy again. <laughs> <laughs> so is this the way you perform nowadays? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the, do you, do you do a lot of performances now? Well, you do a lot of sort of display things, isn't yeah. it? You know, when they, when they ask you. Yeah. Um, just basically to show like what kind of, what Indian dance is about to like several places where they do different dance styles as well, so that's good. Um, like, like an evening event or something, they'll ask mm -hmm. people from the class to come perform. And then Indian Dance Wales runs a company uh, and our last production was Life. And so I was involved with that with some of the dancers and it was all Kieran's choreography and we had a musician over it. it was. Um, Samud, the Madangam player who played at both my Aaron Getrim and yours, who played at everybody's Aaron Getrim yeah. in Wales practically, <laughs> yeah, almost. So uh, he's, he composed the music for it as well. So that's a touring show then that we do as a company. Life experience. Mm. Yes, mm -hmm. life experience. <laughs> Definitely.